Hello, you guys. Welcome back to the Go For The Five Show. Today, or right now, this is the straw that breaks the freaking camel's fat back. Okay, I'm officially done talking about Michael. Unless Michael brings up another some kind of death or something crazy ridiculous that I think we need to talk about him. We'll talk about him. So anybody here who's here for Michael's videos, if you see me post about it again, check it out. But if not, I usually don't talk about him because so far he was a good kid until up till... He made fun of somebody's death and just bring up these lies and then something the whole Doug issue just really boiled my skin. So unless something bad happens or something crazy happens again, if he just, just goes off on a rant and just makes fun of somebody's death or just bring another death related video, just a boring video or something crazy that I need to talk about, I'll talk about him. But I'm done talking about this guy. I'm over it because it feels like every video I put out is just repeating myself and he probably doesn't get it. Nobody gets it. And I understand. You guys can dislike my videos all you want, but this channel, I like to talk about him a little bit, but not as much. This channel is just meant for just random stuff. You just talk about sports, football, whatever, just life in general, just stuff about me, what's going on, whatever have you. But that's it, you know. I want to get behind my kit and play some drums. But I'm done talking about this guy, so I'm going to stop talking about this guy. Football season is underwear, not the regular season, but the preseason started last night. The Atlanta Falcons lose 14-10 to 10 to the Denver Broncos by the game we touched on by the Broncos rookie. And we saw the first ever defensive pass interference challenge. That's new. I love it. I think all the football fans love it. I can't wait. Skull Vikings, I don't wear my Viking shirt, but Skull Vikings, I got to get stuff done. I got more important stuff to do than talk and then just run my mouth about Michael because there's so much stuff I can talk about Michael. But I feel like I'm repeating myself at this point. So... I'm done talking about it unless something crazy happens and he makes fun of somebody's death or another death related something or just his videos are just getting crazy and just the poor me, Michael thing. And now I might talk about it, but it's going to be rare at this point now. I'm done. I made like almost four or five videos. I'm just kind of over it. I'm over it. Over it. Done. Get it out of here. I don't care. I'm done. I'm done with this film. I'm done smoking this film. I'm done just talking talking about this film because it's not going to enhance my life, you know, it's not going to enhance his life either, it's not going to enhance nobody's life, I'm just freaking throwing out dry air, hot air, you know, but like they say, right, you can say something, but actually doing it is another thing, you can say, oh, I'm going to lose weight today, and then you say that, then you don't do it, like you say this, that, and the third, oh, I'm going to go... Take my dog for a walk today, then you don't take your dog out for a walk. Or I'm going to go cut the grass today. You say you're going to do it, you don't. You prolong it. It's like in two days. Go, oh, I'm going to go, whatever. Take a take a shower today, because I smell. Whew. I don't really smell, because I showered. But I'm actually going to shower today. shower today. Sweaty again, because after all this cleaning I'm doing, and stuff i got to do in me, me shredding on my kit. You know, because one day, when I save up, get the money, I want to start my drum cover channel like all these big drum covering YouTubers like Casey Cooper, Christina Shiano, um, Jacqueline Cassell, Kobus, all these big uh, YouTubers, uh, drum me all them. I'll let's start my own drum cover, drum cover channel. So that'll be coming in the near future. I don't know when. I got It's going to cost an arm and a leg to get a good system going here, good recording system because I want to record on my electric kit because I can't use acoustic. Because I got rid of my acoustic one because where I used to live was an apartment. We used to live in like a townhouse kind of spiel where I used to live in San Diego. So I get all this stuff to like record, USB, record, plug in, do all that. So I'd like to record someday. But I got to get all the stuff for it and I don't have all the money right now to, to afford it because that stuff is expensive as hell. You know, so I like to record. And no, people are asking, oh, you, should, you, should, you should do some drum beats from Michael when he raps. Heck no. Nah. I'm not gonna do that. He's not even. He's okay. He's an okay rapper. He's not. He's not the best. He's average. He's your average. Not even average. I've seen average people that are good like that. My brother's. My brother's friend. He's an. He's a rapper. He's performing. He made great music videos. All this. And I think he's probably better than Michael. He, is he better than PMV? I don't know. He's in the middle, but for upcoming rappers, Michael's not not the best. So he's okay. And, Ju and Julie, what's her name? Ju Juliet Riley. She's a great singer. Great singer. Holla at me, Julia. If you want some drum beats, drum, drum stuff, hit me up. I can throw some in your videos. <laughs> if you want, but you probably don't even know who I am. And I don't even know who you are. I just follow you because you your music is great. But that's it.
You know, but anyway, I'm done talking about Michael. Unless something crazy, ridiculous happens, and he just blows out of proportion, and he just thinks he's the top dog. He's the man. He's the, he, he's Roman Reigns. He's the big dog that runs the yard because he's not. He ain't no big dog that runs no yard. He, he just all bark, no bite. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, I I got more more important stuff to do than talk about this guy. So I'm done talking about this guy. If you're here. If you're just here for Michael's, me talking about Michael, well, I'm sorry. I'm not going to talk about him as much anymore as you thought. I just want to get this out of the way, get this out of my chest, because I can't stand this guy. Neither can I stand his, what's it, what's it, what they call him, the cleanup guy? Him either, so. And the cleanup guy thinks he's all funny, because <laughs> he has a miserable life that he can take it on everybody else, and his laugh is stupid. He has a dumb laugh. Ha, 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 Stupid laugh. But anyways. I'll catch y'all later. I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta get other stuff done. I got more important stuff to do in my life than just talk about Michael wasting his life by eating food and just sitting on the couch playing video games and being the keyboard keyboard warrior he is talking crap behind the behind the camera and behind the keys. So anyways, catch y'all later. Michael, go kick rocks, go back with Isaac and start talking, make fun of more people and put everybody down because your life think is better than everybody else's life. So I'll catch y'all later. No more talking about Michael. Football season's right around the corner, so you know definitely I'll be here talking about my Minnesota Vikings preseason action and also regular season action. And when, when you know, plus with work and stuff, if, if you don't see any more Vikings videos because of work, and I usually can't make make these videos. But preseason, I'll try, I'll try to make as much Vikings videos as I could this season, and I'm still hoping want to save up for the money because the tickets are like a hundred dollars or so. Am I gonna be like, oh, I, I can afford those tickets? You're struggling to make, make to get those tickets. Yeah, but I already have it built in the calendar. Here, yeah, it's in uh, I think October, November. No, I think it's like December or something. Let me see. Columbus. I think it's December. Yes, yeah, December. December 15th, Minnesota Vikings versus Los Angeles Chargers. I'll be going to the game because I live in LA. So. Try to hit the game, but the tickets are like a hundred dollars a piece, and I don't got the money right now just to just throw out a hundred dollars a piece, you know. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I have money to save for my to give away my rent, but anyways, thank you guys for watching. Peace. Let go, let's go, bikes. Let's go. We're gonna have a great season, and just other stuff on my channel is gonna be like probably I'll talk about pro wrestling stuff or uh, sports related stuff or other stuff, but Michael. You didn't, you didn't beat me. You didn't beat me because I'm done talking about you. Oh, uh, I, I stopped this guy from talking about me now because I beat him. No. I'll still talk about you. But I'm done talking about you right now unless you do something stupid and dumb and make fun of somebody's death or go out and this, down the third. You know? And you still think you're a good role model, but I don't think so. I still watch your videos like I can stick a C whack and just throw in a couple jabs, a couple nudges in here, in here to get the fans knowing how dumb they are, as you see. You know, so y'all can dislike my my videos all you want. I just put the video talking about Michael. Are you two dislikes? You can dislike me all you want. I can give a two two shoots, okay? Two shoots and a scotch and a, and a butterscotch candy, okay? So get out of here. I'm done talking about you unless you do something dumb, like I said. This is only good. This is only good stuff on this channel. I'm done. To, I'm done, done making fun of putting down people because that's the person I am. But Michael, you deserve it because the way you speak about people and the way you talk about people's deaths, you deserve it. And if you gotta know, Michael talked about somebody's death. Well, you can't see the video now. If you looked up Isaac Guest or whatever it's called, Br Guest or 550, whatever, he did a live stream once when Doug's mom passed away, and they all laughed about it, joked it up. Look on his channel, but he probably took it down. But there's also another one called I think it's called Br Guest or. 550 reload reloaded so you might see the video there you know he even talking mad crap about family talking mad crap about Doug because Doug sent Bridget a picture of his of his of her dead mom because what if Doug just said your grandma passed away you think Bridget will believe that she believed half of the crap Doug's been saying lately on his part on his channel so that's why if she didn't believe it he had to send him the picture and he's over there blasting Doug because you send a dead person's body onto it well he wasn't even post on social media unless Bridget's that dumb butt posted it on social media. She she just he just sent it to her on a private message, and then she posted it. She she she's the bad one. 
It's just your dad letting you know that your grandma passed away because you probably won't believe he put, hey, uh, Bridget, I know you don't, I know you don't respond to my text messages anymore, but your grandma passed away. Isn't you believe that? No. He think, oh, Doug is playing the pity game. The pity game. So, anyways, thing I've been watching. I'll catch you later. I gotta get. I gotta do more important stuff than just waste my time with this fill, full. You know, go, go eat all your fatty barbecue food. Go flood your Twitter with food with food porn. I don't care. I can care less. I got other stuff to deal with with my life, my personal life, because I got a lot more better stuff enhancing with my life. I'm driving. I'm getting out there. I'm meeting people. I'm not driving yet, but I'm I'm further ahead than Michael. I passed my my written test. Now I gotta go behind the wheel, skirt, skirt. I'll be bumping my tunes, going down the street, skirt, skirting. I'll probably make a video of me skirt, skirting, and say, "Hey, Michael, you wish you'd be doing this with the girl beside you, driving the girl around, all this, because you can't." Because you're too lazy enough to read the manual. You did two tests and you filmed it. You didn't film it, you know, filmed the DMV, but you filmed it and you didn't even pass. Because you, you probably didn't even study that hard. You probably looked at the pages, skimmed through them. Okay, I'm ready. Yeah, right. I study for at least an hour, an hour thirty, hour and a half to two hours. And I freaking pass this. And yeah, it took me a while and I didn't pass for a while. But then I, when I actually just freaking put the phone down, put the camera away, filmed, whatever, look at social media. I just physically looked at the freaking thing, even if it was online, just go online. Freaking free driving test for, what? You, where, where are you at? South Carolina. Free driving South Carolina practice test questions. If you take them, you just freaking study it all over and over and over again, because I live in California. I freaking study the crap out of these things every single day for a whole week at least or so. You could pass, but you don't want to. You just want to rather be on social media blasting people. And wasting your life away where you could be enhancing your life by driving, doing so much, much better stuff. Your life would be so happy. I bet you if you drove and did all this other stuff with your life, enhanced it, Grandpa would be so proud of you. Right now, he's probably thinking, what the F are you doing with me and my legacy? Absolutely nothing. You're throwing it down the toilet bowl. So anyways, <laughs> I'm done. It's just, wow. I'm not getting triggered. I'm just getting angry because, well, anything, everything, angry is triggered. Okay. It doesn't matter. It's just, why waste your life, Bo? <laughs> I'm not having this hat on the way because it's hot. So, you're going to think, why, why are you looking at this stupid hat like that? Because I don't want it all on the way. Anyways, I, 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 I yeah, I got to go. This, this, this guy, I'm done, I'm done talking about this guy. Stay tuned for some football videos and other great other videos besides this, 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 this goofball. This. This floating like a leaf guy, because that's all—that's what they say in church. If you're not, if your if your life's not handsome, you're just living your life floating like a leaf, not working, not doing nothing. So you're just floating like a leaf, my guy. I'll catch you later. Bye, y'all. Have a good one. Make somebody's day. Buy some. If you're at a grocery store, maybe help buy some part of the groceries. Or if you're at a coffee shop, buy the person's coffee. You know, open some, open the door for somebody. Do somebody, do something, do something nice for somebody today. And I think that's watching. I'll see y'all later. God bless y'all. Have a great, what was the day? Friday. Have a great Friday. Make somebody's day. Buy somebody their food, coffee, whatever, groceries, whatever have you. Maybe from the drive through fast food line, you know, at a McDonald's, Wendy's, whatever, say, hey, can I, can I buy it? When you go through and you talk to the person's speaker box, hey, can I buy that person's, person's uh, lunch or dinner or breakfast for them in front of me? Sure. So just say it's on me. Just let them go and I'll pay for it. Give me the amount, whatever have you. Just do somebody do something nice for somebody today. Make somebody's day. Enjoy your day. If you guys play music, it's always good to play music. I love to play music. An instrument. Always have your kid or somebody just get into an instrument. Do something instead of just being cooked up in the house playing video games. I just started playing drums when I was little. I can get a whole story on me playing drums, but that'll take me forever. But yeah, see so you got my kit right there. My this is my third. My third kit had an acoustic kit and had an electric kit, which I destroyed my electric kit because I'm a good player that I just play really hard and everything just broke off. I got this one like a couple months ago, like maybe four or five months ago. And I love it and I have no issues since, so. And I have a warranty on it, so. I spent a good penny on this kit and I don't want to ruin it, so. <laughs> so, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Play an instrument, you know, play some music. It's always fun to play music, it doesn't matter. Play an instrument. Take your kids to play an instrument. Teach them. Teach, teach, teach your kids something new today. Make somebody's day, whatever have you. Enjoy life because life is great. You got to thank God that you're alive and well. The minute I wake up, whew, I thank God I'm alive. I make my bed. 
have a cup of water to wake up my bowels. First, I go to the bathroom because usually when I wake up, I have to go to the bathroom sometimes. Wash my face out, rinse my mouth out, drink some water, start my day, read the word, have my coffee, whatever, go work out, feel strong, and just get my day going off, off strong. You know, I don't get my day off going like waking up miserable. Ugh. I get my day off starting off right. You know, waking up, making my bed. That's the first thing I do. I wake up, make my bed. Before I even go to the bathroom, rinse my face out, wash my mouth, whatever I have you. I go straight to making my bed first. You know, that's the first thing I do every morning. Make my bed. Because that's, that's what they say. The first thing you do, you start your day off. And that, makes, and that makes your day to start off right. If you wake up starting off making your bed every morning, that's the best way to start your day, they say. That's what I heard in church. The best way to start your day is to make your bed... You know, drink some water, go read the word, or go work out. They say make your bed, go work out. It's a great way to get your day going is by working out, moving your body. Go for a run whenever have you. That's my brother. He wakes up, probably makes his bed, he makes his bed, goes for a run, whatever. But he doesn't do that anymore because he works early now, not what he used to work. So, but anyways, I just love that I'm alive every single day. And I'm just thankful to God that I'm blessed that I'm alive. We have a healthy, strong family because we work out our butts off every single day. Sometimes I go on the weekends. If I do, it's probably Saturday because Sunday you just take a day off just by church, relax, enjoy time. Maybe my brother comes over. We do a barbecue, whatever. But yeah, see. As much as I hated Planet Fitness, I talked so much crap about them. This will probably Michael's favorite gym because they give away free bagels and free pizza every month. And they give away free Tootsie Roll at the front desk. You get one Tootsie Roll and get as much Tootsie Rolls as you want, but they also have uh, at the beginning of every month, so the, so let's say, so Monday coming up, this Monday, they're going to give away free pizza to all Planet Fitness guests, and, uh, and then the Tuesday, so then I think Tuesday of the month, or, or this Tuesday coming up, they'll give away bagels in the morning. So bagels in the morning for every Tuesday of the first month of every Tuesday, then pizza on the first month of every Monday. So I bet you Michael loves that. He can if he got a measure there, he'll probably eat the pizza, eat the bagels, drink the coffee, take all the Tootsie Rolls. He'll probably take the whole tub of Planet Fitness Tootsie Rolls, knowing Michael. But anyways, I'm not talking about this this guy. If we if you ever if you ever did a what do you call it? A scale? Weigh on the scale? I would probably win because that's me, because I work out every I work out every day. I don't eat fast food as much as I used to back in the day. I remember eating fast food, not a lot, but uh, no, not a lot than Michael. But I used to eat fast food. I did. Uh, everybody, no one can say they never had a piece of fast food in their whole lifetime. Everybody at least had a bite of some kind of fast food. It was Jack in the Box, McDonald's, Wendy's, whatever, Culver's, whatever it is, whatever you guys have. I hear it's more California, more Jack in the Box, Carl's Jr., McDonald's kind of thing. We don't have like a Culver's or like a, uh, what's it called, Steak and Shake and uh, sh all those, you know. So, well, I remember I did. <laughs> and my mom felt bad at the time because she used to give us fast food like crazy because sometimes she just worked late and she didn't have time to cook. She was getting fast food like crazy. She she regretted it, and I'm thankful that my mom regretted that because she she because I remember it was bad. And yeah, it still worked out, but it was still fast food. After you're working, it's all that fatty grease into your stomach. Yikes! So my mom regretted that, and I remember it was some bad times. And but now, you, even still, then when she did it, sometimes she cooked, but it wasn't like crazy, you know. But now we cook like every day. I just made a whole good good fresh fresh pot of freaking um, bolognese or meat sauce <sighs> fire cause, cause I'm a chef, I like to cook chefs cook, I cook everyday I, I don't remember the last time I actually got out and ordered something from a fast food joint or some kind of place I had the drive through Whew. been like what, a couple months, I mean like a week two weeks or something I was had where I was like, I didn't really feel like cooking so I had to just wanted to grab something real quick but that was it, it probably wasn't that fattening but, yeah, anyways, I'm just rambling on. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys are here for Michael, you probably don't see that much, as much more videos about Michael as you did for the past couple of days because I'm done talking about this guy. Football season around the corner. Football season's already here. So next Thursday is already preseason, so I'll be talking about preseason action, football stuff, NFL stuff, about my Vikings and other stuff. So stay tuned for all that. Thank you guys for watching. Like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all later. Peace. Make some buddies day today. Let's get it. Let's go, baby. It's Friday. It's the weekend. Let's get it, baby. Let's go. 
this for a strong workout, do something hard, maybe just do some stretches. I have to do stretches because that's what my doctor told me. If I'm going to get my legs straight, not looking bow-legged like a penguin, i got to be doing them stretches. That's what he told me. He said, I don't recommend you do surgery, but I recommend you just do more stretching. You can do surgery, but surgery will cost me an arm and a leg. At least my parents. My mom works for a medical company. So, yeah. Anyways, let's do it, baby. It's Friday. Let's get this money. Let's get this work. Let's kill it. I know my arms are not jacked like everybody because <laughs> I'm not a crazy bencher. I do bench, but I'm not like crazy as people are where they put like a thousand plates. And I can do at least 45 on each side and like usually up to a 10 plate. But that's it. I can't do like 45 on each side and then add 25 on each side or add another 45 plate. I can't do that. But I can do at least 45 on each side. And then the max I can do is like a 10 plate on each side with the 45. But that's it. I'm not a crazy. I don't. I don't crazy bench. I like to do free weights and more of them, uh, the machines, and all the other stuff. But that's me. Thank you guys for watching. Like this video, leave a comment, subscribe for more. Let's get this money. Let's get this work. Let's do it, baby. It's Friday. You know what day it is. You don't know a clock to know what time it is. My uh, fitness tracker here doesn't even know to know a clock to know what time it is. I'm already at 4,663 steps. Let's get it, baby. It's all about that fitness, all about that work, it's all about that money, it's all about feeling good. Because like they said, you look good, you feel good. And that's a true statement. Once you look good, you feel good, you're sharp by the tag, you can kill those interviews. You can do whatever you want, man. If you look good, you feel good. You, you'd be like showing up to the club and just boom. Mm, and it, a, 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 Millie Rock, whatever, you know? So anyways, catch y'all later. I'll talk to you later. Bye, y'all. No more talking about Michael unless he does something stupid. Bye.